So there is a misconception that Balané and Balaté are the same step with different accents, but this is not true. Despite similar sounding names, they are actually very different. Let's start with Balané. Balané means bloated and bouncing like an inflated ball. A single bounce begins and ends on the same leg, and it can be done with a plié relevé for a coupé balané or a bigger pas balané by adding a jump. You often hear people say balloné, accent in, like I-N, in, and balloté, out, O-U-T, accent out. And that's fine if it's just to help you remember the vocabulary, but you have to keep in mind that they are two different movements, and there is more to it than the accent being out or in. To perform a balané, you begin with a plié to prepare. You send one leg out straight into the air like a dégagé. You push off of that plié leg. Once both legs have extended, you bring in that leg that is in the air into a coup de pied position upon landing. So you land on one foot. If you want to do more than one balané in the same direction, then you will extend your leg again from coup de pied and repeat the same movement. Whether you start your balané from fifth or from a coupé, it doesn't matter. Send your leg straight out like a dégagé, before quickly bringing it in. Balané can be done in all directions, but alternating side to side, like this, is the most common. You alternate side to side with a coupé to replace the leg. The legs extend and straighten at the same time, whether or not you're doing a jump. And the leg that's in the air, or the jester leg, comes in to coup de pied as you land or come down to plié. Another popular way to do ballonets is to repeat them a face forward. You may recognize these from La Esmeralda where she kicks the tambourine in her hand. Ballonets can also be done as a jump, so you jump instead of a relevé. And ballonets can also be used to travel, but I don't have the space for that right now. Balanés are also done to the back, although it's not as common, it's usually a transition step, but the mechanics are exactly the same. Be careful not to overcross your coup de pied when you land. Make sure that pinky toe stays right above your ankle bone. And remember, a single balané begins and ends on the same leg. Now let's move on to balloté. Balloté means to toss or sway like a boat in the waves. It's correct that the accent is out, but you also have to use the upper body and alternate your legs. It is not just a reverse balloné. Balloté is when you collect your legs underneath you and then extend them front or back in a face. Balloté must tilt the upper body, meanwhile balloné stays vertical. Balloté can be done low or high with straight or bent legs. Begin with a jump bringing your legs together in fifth underneath you. Then bring your legs forward, bend the upper body back, extend one leg forward and a face as you land. Jump again, legs back together, now send them back and lean your upper body forward as you extend an a face as you land. If you want to extend your legs higher than 45 degrees, your legs would go through passe. In balleté, your legs alternate forward and backwards while your torso simultaneously shifts back and forth. It's a little hard to do this slow, but you can think of your legs moving back and forth like a Newton's cradle. They come together before releasing. Alternatively, you can practice balloté with a little pas de bourre in between. This gives you the time to practice shifting your weight, and it's a little more stable for tossing your upper body back and forth. Typically, if your balloté is 45 degrees or lower, you will do balloté with straight legs, and the arms follow the direction of the legs. There is a moment where your legs are grouped together and touching underneath you while you're in the air, kind of like that Newton's cradle I showed you. Like most movements in ballet, your upper body will act as the counterweight to your legs. So like when your leg goes devant, your upper body pitches back a little bit, and when your legs go arabesque, your upper body leans forward. And believe it or not, you will sometimes do a balloté in adagio at the bar. This is to help you build up the core strength to move that torso. So I don't have the space to do a big balloté, but if you wanted your legs to go higher, you would draw your legs through passé and then develop hay before extending. So there is a moment where both legs are in passé at the same time underneath the body. And remember, your upper body is tossed back and forth like a teeter-totter, and your arms open with your legs. Your torso leans back when the leg goes forward, 
and your torso leans forward as the legs go back and your arms open in the same direction as the leg. Quick little recap. Ballonne is when you bounce up and down and it happens on the same leg. Ballonne can be with relevé or with a jump. Ballonne can travel. Ballonne, the accent is in when you land. Ballonne can be done front, side, or back. In ballonne, your upper body stays vertical. In balloté, your legs change mid-air. Balloté is a jump and is not intended to travel. In balloté, the accent is out. Balloté must use the torso, so balloté ends in T for torso, tilt, and out. I hope this tutorial cleared things up. Thank you so much for watching.